Is it easy to live a life like a hermit, alone in the forest, in the mountains, wherever? Many people... When I started to live alone, when I went to my forest, there were many people that would criticize me, saying, you're running away from your life, you're running away from society, you're not strong enough to face, you know, this life around you, you're, you know, they would say that it is easier to just be alone and it is like escapism, as people would tell me at those times. And that would always make me angry within myself. Because these people have no idea what it is like to be alone. If you think it is easier, if you think it is easy to live alone like a hermit somewhere, then go to a forest or wherever and try to stay there for a whole day at least. And I can tell you that after a few hours you will want to go home and you will, ah, maybe next time. It is not easy to be alone. It is not easy to live your life like that. I will not even talk about about I will not even talk about physical challenges like living in coldness and in, in like in India when I stayed in that cave it was so cold during the night that I extremely cold and during the days the sun would be just torturing me also and then eating the same sampa with water you know it's Tibetan roasted barley, something like that. Not tasty and and your body craves for something more, for vitamins, for fat and and you just killing yourself with such food and such conditions that are not good to your body. It's, I would say it's asceticism. Asceticism. But even without this physical path these challenges. I want to say that when you are alone and you keep on searching for yourself, you keep on meditating, trying to find yourself, it is not that you all of the time you just become more and more peaceful and you feel ecstasy. When you are alone and you keep on meditating and doing all of the things, after some time it feels like your subconsciousness opens and something from there, from deep, deep within you comes out into the surface and that may be very painful. The memories of your previous experiences, previous lives, very strong emotions. Sometimes it's, it's so ag agonizing that it's, it's easy to live like ordinary people live, to sit in front of TV because when you have to face these things coming from within you, no matter you are in the forest or wherever, it can be agonizing. You can just keep on crying for days and days. You can experience such extreme depression that you would, you know, <laughs> suicidal thoughts will come surely. You may start experiencing physical pain due to imbalances in the body, these chakras and all of the things. And emotionally it will be very hard and you will feel very lonely. So those who say that it is easy to live alone, to live like a hermit, those who think it is escapism and that it is no deal to live like that, I will completely disagree. It's not easy for me to live in society, for me but I wouldn't say that it was easy to live alone in the forests. To live alone like that. It wasn't easy. That was good, that helped me to change a lot. But these things coming up, these old, old stored impressions, When you live alone, you will have to vomit it out, all of your intoxication, and that is not sweet. <laughs>